Hello YouTube, welcome back to another video. Today I'll be doing a video requested by YouTube user SafePath. So this video is going to be a tutorial on how to wire one, two, three fire alarm notification appliances to a pulse station. So I'm gonna get started. Okay, so the things you're gonna need for this, you're gonna need some fire alarm notification appliances, a pull station, obviously, and then you're going to use two regular pieces of wire, short wire, that are separated. Then you're going to find one longer piece of wire, and then you can use four just you can just use four short pieces of wire, but I prefer this wire that's kind of connected like two conductor wire. So you can eat, you can just use this kind of wire or four short wires. Um, and then you're gonna need a power source, uh, like batteries, some tape, and then a, a screwdriver or something. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna wanna do is assemble the batteries like this. So that way they connect. So you have 27 volts of power right here. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your long piece of wire as you can see, this is my long piece of wire. Put one end into one of the terminals of the battery. So you'll notice that this end of the terminal is more like an octagon or a hexagon, and it's larger, and this one is more of a smooth, round one. So you're going to take the white wire and then put it into the smooth, round one, and then you're going to tape it in place. Okay, so now you should have one wire attached to the round terminal on your battery. Now what you're going to do is you're going to take the wire you just attached to the battery, the long one, you're going to attach that to the positive of your fire alarm. So as you can see, there's two terminals. One is marked positive. Um, so you're going to attach like that. And as you can see, now the wire is attached to the fire okay, alarm. Okay, now you're gonna do the same thing, but you're going to attach one of the short pieces of wire uh, to the battery like that. And then you're going to tape it in place like so. You do the same thing you did with the white wire, except this time you do it with the shorter wire. So as you can see, now we have the short wire tag. Okay, so now you're going to take the short wire and then you're going to flip your pull station over. So you're going to put the wire into any terminal on your pull station. It doesn't matter which one, as long as it's a conventional pull station. As you can see, you just wire it in like that and then you should be good. And then just tighten the screw terminal Hold on, and boom. So right now, what you should have is you should have one long wire running directly to the positive on your notification appliance circuit that's connected to the round one on your battery, and then you should have one short wire going to the any to, to a terminal on your pull station. The next thing you're gonna wanna do is take your other short wire and then put that inside of your other terminal on the pull station. So after you put this one into the pull station, you should put the other end of the wire into the negative on your fire alarm. And then after that, you should have a working fire alarm. So now you flip your stuff over and you've just made your very own fire alarm circuit. So let me demonstrate it. As you can see, when I pull the pull station, the strobe starts to flash. So now I'm gonna show you how to wire multiple devices to one uh, pull station. Okay, so as you can see, I'm attaching the positive wire from that device that I just connected, and then I'm attaching the negative wire, which I also just connected, to the negative on my fire alarm. So now, as you can see, I have a second device hooked up. So now if we pull it, both are flashing at the same time. Well, they're not synchronized, but now you have two devices on your fire alarm circuit. Now, if you want to add a third fire alarm, you just do the exact same thing you just did. So you take your third fire alarm, and then you take another one of those wires that I just showed you, and you flip the device you just added on. Now you're going to connect the positive from this alarm into the positive from that alarm, which I'll do. Okay, so as you can see, I've taken the wire again, and then I've done positive to positive, negative to negative. So you get the point. Now if I flip the device over, and then I connect this positive to the positive of this fire alarm, as you can see, 
and then the negative to the negative of this fire alarm, you will get the point and it will start to go off with the others. So now when you flip it over and you pull the alarm, they're all flashing at the same time, which is actually really fun to play with. So now you can build yourself your very own demonstration system with this knowledge. And as you can see, you can extend as many alarms as you want as long as it doesn't exceed the voltage uh, limit for the uh, circuit. So you can continue to run as many wires uh, to as many devices as you want. But now I'm going to, a lot of people have also asked, how do you add a second pole station to a fire alarm system? So I'm gonna show that. Okay, so first of all, you're gonna take another one of those wires that have two conductors and then you're gonna flip the device over. Now, the pull station over. Now you're gonna connect any wire, positive and negative does not matter with pull stations. So you just, you know, wire it like that. Of course, this is gonna take a while if you don't have a good screwdriver like I do. I don't have a very good screwdriver at the moment, so this is taking a while, but you can just skip ahead until I finish. Okay, I just finished. Now you have another pair of wires, and then you can connect this to your next pole station. So I just have another pole station here. You can attach whatever you want. You can even attach a smoke detector to these wires. Just make sure you're not uh, shorting anything out. Okay, there. Now you have a second pole station, and when you pull it, the other alarms will all go off. So no matter which pull station you pull, they all work. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. See ya.